Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tara and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what makes you breathtakingly beautiful to others. I haven't done one of these topics in a while so I thought now would be a great time to do so. Please be aware that this is a general reading so only take what resonates, leave the rest. Somehow as I get to your intro... <laughs> I'm seeing your spirit guides everywhere, which is not not something that happens often. Okay, so for pile number one, we have Black Tourmaline with Nine of Air. For pile number two, we have Honey Calcite with the Queen of Fire. And then for pile number three, we have Larimar with the Messenger of Water. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be a pile for today. But of course, if you are drawn to more than one pile, there may be more messages there for you. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose the black tourmaline crystal in the nine of air, then this is your reading, we're going to be taking a look at what makes you breathtakingly beautiful. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started, i just like to announce that I am going to be available for personal readings in April, so if you'd like to book with me, you can find my email address in the description box below. So, I'd already pulled another card for you from this tarot deck with the Seven of Water. So this is the Nine of Swords and Seven of Cups. And what I take from the Seven of Cups, it's not just one thing that makes you breathtakingly beautiful, my pile number ones. It is many, many, many things about you. And even in this Nine of Swords, we see many doves around her. So I see the same message here that there are many things that makes this pile beautiful in some way. So firstly, I feel like this pile has a very youthful face where you look quite younger than your age. And you will always age like fine wine, my pile number ones. I heard the word glow up when I got to your pile. So people perceive you to have gotten more and more breathtakingly beautiful over the years, over time, over the months. You've definitely had some kind of transformation to your physical look. And that is definitely a theme I see here, where people's breath is taken away by this glow up you've been having. It's like, damn, pile number one, they've just become more and more beautiful over time. I'm hearing what's their secret, so people want to know what your secret is, what you did to glow up. Some of you actually had a change to your physical appearance, like to your hair, to your body. Um, your face, whatever this is, you take it as it resonates, but they're kind of like asking what is pile number one secret? And then there are some that are like, oh my gosh, I can never compete with pile number one because they're becoming more and more beautiful at a rapid rate. Like every time I see them, they're becoming more and more beautiful. <laughs> I cannot compete with them. So we have the five of pentacles. That takes people's breath away because it's like they feel like they can't compete with you and then they feel like, oh my gosh, how did you do this? Then we have the Ace of Cups. And with the Seven of Cups, I definitely feel for this pile, there's something about you that is quite dreamy and ethereal in some way. We have the Five of Swords at the back of the deck, which can indicate in this case jealousy, as we spoke about before. So you make people worried with your beauty. You make people anxious and nervous to be around you because they just want to impress you. They feel like they have nothing that amounts to what you have or the beauty you have sometimes and then people will get jealous. But then some people feel like 
what can I do to impress pile number one? Because there are so many things that are amazing about them, not only within their physical beauty, but also within their personality traits. Like, what can I offer them? I don't have anything to offer them with the five of pentacles. And so when people are around you, because you chose black tourmaline, I feel like you've been through stages in your life where you're a little bit more discerning of who you trust with people. Um, you know, maybe you've gone through some things in life, had certain people betray your trust, and so you're very discerning of who you let in. And when people see that discerning nature you have, they think you're so mysterious, and part of that mystery is breathtaking in some way, and then they want to impress you. They see you as a little bit nonchalant at first, but I don't think you're nonchalant. I think you're just discerning of who you let in to your life, right? What makes pile number one breathtakingly beautiful? We have the magician. So the thing is with you, it's like you can always go up and level up. And with the magician, like you can do anything to change your look, to make your look even better. <laughs> I mean, this could be my pile of people that can completely shape shift and transform your look, right? And... It makes people nervous because it's like, again, how can I compete with pile number one? I can never compete with them. And it's like, you can always make yourself more and more beautiful. And that's breathtaking about you with a magician. This is my pile of people that can do their makeup and, you know, completely take people's breath away with the way you've done your makeup or, you know, change up your style once in a while or change up your hair once in a while and it's like everything you do in terms of creative expression with the magician takes people's breath away because it's like oh, I've never seen pile number one like this and it looks so good on them but it's not that the previous thing didn't look good it's kind of like okay I feel like some of you in this pile love to dye your hair different colors and one week you're having blonde hair the next week you're having red hair and it's like oh my gosh both look so good on them but I really like the red hair on them right now <laughs> How is it that they're able to pull off blonde hair and red hair? That's just an example. Or how is it that they're able to pull off this aesthetic and this aesthetic? That's what I see here. So we also have the death card, which is about a major change or transformation to the way you look. Some of you could have recently got a haircut. Some of you recently could have um, done something with your body where you've gotten more fit. Take it as it resonates. But there's something about you that's going up that people are noticing and that's making them so nervous. We have the Ten of Swords. And I'm getting from this Ten of Swords that are people from your past that have stabbed you in the back, right? Because I'm looking at this and it was very like painful it made you so mad because I'm looking at the red it made you so 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 mad and they're seeing you glow up and they feel instant regret. Yeah, Eight of Cups, these are people you've walked away from. Then we have the world. So there's something about your makeup skills. This pile is very, very good at makeup. You can get yourself all glammed up with the world here because she looks so gorgeous and glamorous. This is my pile of people that can get really, really glamorous and it takes people's breath away. There's also something about this pile either having really, really light hair and a really light skin tone, but it doesn't just have to be. It can also be really, really dark hair with a contrast to your skin tone and hair. So either your hair is lighter than your skin tone or your hair is a lot darker than your skin tone and people notice that and it's breathtaking. There's something about your hair that is so beautiful for the men and women here where it takes people's breaths away, right? We have temperance. There's something about your lips that are so breathtakingly beautiful because I feel this pile has like very juicy, delicious looking lips. There is a sort of dreaminess to your look, innocence to your look. Um, You have a youthful beauty, but then you also have this extremely sexy side to you. So it's like, I can do both if I want to. 
Yeah, with this card, the Four of Cups, it's like the way her body language is, it's like you're a fantasy to others. Then we have the Ten of Cups and the Empress. So we do have the Knight of Swords at the back of the deck with the Seven of Cups behind it, the Tower. I'm getting with the Tower and the Ten of Cups, people fall head over heels in love with this pile. So there's also something about this pile <laughs> that is so magical and mystical. Um, I have no idea how, but I was using your tarot cards now, you saw, right? And I don't know, like when I started your reading in the intro, I kept seeing spirit guides around, which is not something I usually see in every reading. Um, but then somehow these cards were just like at the side of on my desk like on the side here and I never pulled them out and it's like your spirit guys just left them here <laughs> it's so weird so it's like with this pile people may kind of have little things happen with you that are kind of like a little bit more magical and mystical where it's like how did that happen um, so for example, you know, you could meet up with people and then they receive a lot of synchronicities all over the place, a lot of signs all over the place. And they're like, what, how's this happening? Or something kind of like magical just happens that they're just like confused and their breath is taken away. And then they're wondering, like, even with Hecate here, like, are you witchy in some way? Like, do you work with the spirit world in some way? I, I don't know. I'm getting that vibe from this pile. Like you have that mystique to you. Spirit is showing me Alexa Demi, right? And how she has that kind of trendsetter vibe. But she also has that mystery going on that makes her really, really sexy. And she has that uniqueness to her in the way that she expresses herself where it's quite innovative in ways where you haven't seen people dress like that before. Especially how she was in Euphoria. And then everybody wanted to copy that look. So that's quite interesting. I'm going to put these cards to the side for now. Let's just analyze these first. So what makes this pile breathtakingly beautiful? Firstly, your ability to glow up and level up like no other. There's something about your body that is really, really sexy and really, really looking good right now where it's taking people's breath away, my pile number ones. There's something about you protecting your peace right now, protecting your peace from people you've walked away from, no longer allowing shitty people to come in your life. Sorry for my language, but that's what I'm hearing. You're no longer allowing people to treat you badly. With the Empress, you've also had some kind of inner transformation of more self-love that you're inviting in your life. Because you are your only love, and when you're pouring into you, when you're giving yourself love, that is making you even more magnetic to others. Where others want to chase after this pile, believe it or not. They want to impress you. They feel nervous around you. They feel like they look up to you in some way and put you on some kind of pedestal. And you don't even realize it. There's something about this pile, like I said, very juicy lips. Very innocent kind of looking face. Um, youthful looking face, but then you also have this kind of art of seduction where you don't even try, but you are like a fantasy to others. Others fantasize about you and kind of think that they are out of your league. I'm getting a lot of people crush on this pile, but don't come up to this pile and say so because they feel like they have nothing to offer you with the Five of Pentacles and you have that ability to make people so nervous that it's like they're admiring you from afar, but they're too scared to come up to you and tell you. I mean, with the Ten of Cups and Ace of Cups, this pile definitely attracts people like no other. You have master manifestation skills. Your aura radiates out with vibrancy and love and so you attract people places and things to you like no other I'm getting with this pile even with the magician 
you're very magnetic, you attract. I'm hearing, I don't chase, I attract. Since you're in this energy of being in your own sovereignty, being in your own energy, being in this place of self-love and focusing on you, you're naturally pouring into you and that makes you magnetic to others, where others now want to chase after you. You don't chase after others anymore. That's what I'm getting from your energy. I'm also seeing tattoos. Some here could have tattoos in this pile. Take it as it resonates. There's also something about your hands that are quite beautiful, the way you move, the way you speak. There's also something about your eyelashes for the woman here, whether you have naturally beautiful long eyelashes or whether that is just like false eyelashes or mascara. There's something about your eyelashes and the way you do your makeup for the woman here, but you also have quite a natural beauty. So there are variations to the way people look in this pile, so take it as it resonates. There's obviously a lot of blonde hair showing up or lighter hair and lighter skin tones, um, but there can also be darker skin tones with darker hair or light skin tones with dark hair. So I see very light hair and very dark hair. Take it as it resonates. Whereas some of you could have brown hair that has a reddish hue to it in the sun and it looks so good on you. Some of you, like when you're in the sun, your eyes have this golden hue or something like a golden hue to your skin when you're in the sun. Um, it's kind of like you're glowing, you're radiating. That's what I'm seeing. Some of you could have light eyes, like light colored eyes, like blue eyes. Some of you could have brown eyes or hazel eyes or very very dark eyes there's variations here and some of you could have really really snatched eyebrows or eyeliner the way you do your eyeliner and like if you do contour or anything your face looks snatched that's what i'm getting <laughs> even your body looks snatched i'm seeing hourglass figures for some of you um, or your body just looks very very fit or good like you've been working on your body right? Even if you haven't, it just looks that way. And some of you have very natural eyebrows where it still looks very good. Um, something about lipstick and lip gloss really looking good and accentuating your lips. And this pile has also really beautiful eyes that are quite mesmerizing and dreamy, but can also be quite flirtatious and seductive in some way. It's like, People don't want to look into your eyes because then they're afraid that they're going to stare for a long time and fall deeply in love with you as they look into your eyes. I also feel like this pile has a lot of people where they have friendship crushes on you with the Ten of Cups here as well. People want to form relationships to this pile. So now let's take a look at the rest of your cards. But before I do, I just have something to say. In the last month, only 41% of viewers have subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy my video and would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to all my subscribers that have been supporting me since the beginning. Your support means the world to me. My goal is to reach 100k subscribers by the end of the year and I can't do it without you. I will also be picking one random subscriber a week to give a free 30 minute reading to, so leave any comments on any of the videos of the week to enter. So with the Four of Cups, people sometimes feel unsatisfied, like, again, like they have nothing to offer you, um, but people may also feel a little bit insecure around you because you're so breathtakingly beautiful. And I also feel like it's your personality traits, how you've transformed your beautiful heart with the Empress. People can see you have a beautiful heart and a nurturing kind of nature to you. When you love, you love hard, which is why you're so discerning of who you let into your life. So people feel like they're lucky if they get a space in your life. You're also very patient and you bring harmony and balance into every connection you enter. And you're also a very, very peaceful soul that is continuously growing in your own way. But you also have an intensity to your nature here. So I see Scorpio, I see Sagittarius. Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and I see Pisces and Cancer. 
So now let's take a look at the rest of the card. So we have the Ten of Wands. There's something quite angelic about this pile in the way that you look too. It's like you're an angel that fell from heaven and you just glow and radiate. Wow. So Iris is the personification of rainbows um, and Gaia is Mother Earth. So there's something like also about earth signs here or there's something very much like earthy about your look. Um, what is the word I want to use? There may be something luxurious about the way this pile looks for some here or something about the jewelry you wear. Something about you always looking good and you have this Venusian energy to the way that you look where it makes people want to fall in love with you. It's like this romantic essence you have to the way that you look. With Iris here and this rainbow energy, you could bring others hope and inspiration, not only in the way that you dress, in the way that you look, because rainbows sometimes remind me of hope and inspiration, right? But there's also something about the things you do in life, how you've leveled up in life, how you've created certain opportunities for yourself, how you've achieved certain things that inspires others, but also in the way that you dress, you can be a little bit of a trendsetter, as I said before, and so people kind of want to follow your lead and take inspiration from you. Some may be very insecure and copy you outright because it's like they want to look like you. We have the hanged man, we have the devil, so there's definitely something very sexy about this pile with the devil, seductive. We have strength, so a lot of you could have very fit looking bodies or you look like you spend a lot of time in the gym or you have a lot of emotional strength that is breathtakingly beautiful because it's like, how did you go through these things but still stay so strong and still you know, be somebody that sees the rainbow at the end of the tunnel, sees the positivity, even though you've been through a lot in life, right? We have the moon. So you're very, very ethereal and dreamy in some way, cosmic in some way with the moon, but your vibe is also beautiful, the vibe you give off to others. Some of you could have like ashy blonde hair that is almost gray looking, or gray eyes that almost, yeah, like reminds people of a storm. I'm getting with the moon here, you also have that mystery as I spoke about before, but you also have this type of energy of your emotional nature being beautiful in some way. Because you're so emotionally mature and intelligent, it takes people's breath away because you look quite youthful, but then you're also quite wise and intuitive in some way. And you can read people like a book, but they can't read you, right? So we have the Ace of Cups again. So people definitely want to form connections to you when they see you out in public. You're just so breathtakingly beautiful that they're like, wow, I'd love to be friends with Pawan or I'd love to be in a relationship with Pawan. Whoever gets to have them in that way is so, so, so lucky. Definitely something about your eyebrows and you have a certain type of glow to you. We have the Page of Wands. You're like the sunflower. You're very positive and optimistic and you're exciting to be around. You're also fun to be around and passionate about the things you love, your hobbies, the things you love, the people you love, right? And something about that is breathtakingly beautiful. But again, you also have this natural beauty where you don't even have to try. It's quite effortless in some way. Then we have the Six of Wands. So this pile has created success in some way, or at least people perceive you to be on the way there where you have certain strengths and talents that are breathtaking and beautiful in some way, and it inspires them to create success as well. If you're not yet there, people can really see your potential to get there and to level up in some way because of your strengths and talents. People see you as very talented and passionate at whatever you do. Now let's get your last cards. So we, I did mention Cancer, Leo, Scorpio. Capricorn is also a sign I see here. I did mention Pisces, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have the badass. This pile is quite badass in some way, in the way you've leveled up, in the way you've achieved certain things, how passionate you are about whatever it is you do, whatever it is you're talented at, or your work. You could also look very sexy in work clothes or that kind of attire, or people could just imagine you that way. Like I said, you're like a fantasy, so maybe people kind of imagine you as like a sexy teacher in some way, but you are quite badass in some way because you've been through a lot in life, but you still stay strong and you still have this kind of glow to you. When nothing can destroy you, you still see life with so much positivity. And with the red here, that's reminding me of seduction again. Then we have the movie star, so you are quite glamorous in some way, where people can almost see you like being a movie star or a celebrity. You know how some people are just so glamorous and gorgeous that you're like, why are you not a celebrity? <laughs> why are you not, like, are you a content creator? Are you um, in the public eye in some way? Or people could see you as so beautiful in some way that they can see you being a model. There's also something about a beautiful smile. I did see that earlier, but I forgot to mention it. Um, even the way you dress is quite glamorous and breathtaking. This pile has an amazing fashion style and sense, and you use your intuition to get that um, idea for the fashion style because like I said earlier you're quite innovative in some way and you're getting those ideas from your intuition following your intuition with the way you dress we have the strong woman or you can say the strong man take it as it resonates but there's something about your strength that is breathtakingly beautiful because it's like how did you go through that and still stay strong I'm hearing that song I'm a survivor <laughs> I love that so you survive anything you go through and nothing can ever destroy you. We have the masterpiece. One more card. The artist. So there's something about this pile that is quite creative in the way that you dress, in the way that you express yourself. Or people could see creative potential or talent within you that is breathtaking, where if you really had to hone in on that skill or talent, if you haven't already, it's like you could create some kind of masterpiece here. Or they'd see that artistic nature in the way that you dress, in the way that you do your makeup, your hair, your ideas, things like that. I even see some of you make your own clothes. Okay, we have dump him graphic tea at the back of the deck so it's like your clothes your fashion style is breathtaking it's like how did I not think of that idea that pile number one has whoa like I want to dress like them I want to look like them um there's again intensity and seduction to the way that you dress where it's giving you this type of vibe of like a mouth-watering effect you have on others and there's something about you and how you've overcome certain things in your life that are quite inspirational in some way, where people are just like, wow. This pile is also quite mysterious when it comes to your dreams and goals and the things you want to achieve, where you don't tell people about it until it comes into fruition, until it's your own masterpiece, until you've achieved something. Yeah, I am picking up on a lot of jealousy here. But I feel like you also get a lot of people that are inspired by you. And then you also have that type of vibe of like marriage material. Like I want to hold on to you forever because I see people thinking that you just have this beautiful heart and personality. Beautiful inside and out, you know. So you're beautiful on the outside but also the inside. And that's breathtaking because it's like wow. When people first see you, they just see you as so beautiful. They they kind of like think, okay, maybe you're going to be a little bit stuck up or maybe you're going to be mean to them or rude to them, but then they actually see you have actually like a really kind nature to you. So this is what I see for you, Pile 1. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pile number twos, if you chose this honey calcite crystal and the queen of fire then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at what makes you breathtakingly beautiful. 
So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started, I'd just like to announce that I am available for personal readings in April. So if you'd like to book with me, you can find my email address in the description box below. So with the Queen of Wands, you're definitely showing up as somebody with this really unique vibe and personality, but there's also a unique look you have. You give me this type of vibe, like when you dress up, when you kind of like get all glammed up, you have a unique look to the way you either look like your face or the way you dress, the way you express yourself. You give off this very warm vibe overall from your energy and I think your energy is also quite beautiful and magnetic in some way where it makes people very drawn to you because of the warmth you radiate to the world and people feel very comfortable around you like they can just come up to you and speak to you and there's something about your vibe that is so breathtakingly beautiful. There's also something about this pile that is like sweet like honey since you chose the honey calcite crystal and there's something Thing about your voice that is so breathtakingly beautiful like when people hear your voice it's smooth like honey it's beautiful you're quite charming in ways when you speak to people and something about that is breathtaking where I feel like people just feel very comfortable around you in your presence where they feel like they can tell you anything where they just instantly trust you because of your warmth. There's something also about this pile having a beautiful smile like the most beautiful smile of them all and I definitely see that strongly. So we have judgment. I'm looking at this judgment card and how this angel is, you know, getting a drink for her while she's in the bath and getting her shopping bag. So you could be so breathtakingly beautiful that you make people want to do things for you and give to you in some way. Whether they show it or not, you just, it's like people just want to be kind to you and do things for you. Even if they do it or not, that's just like an urge they have. Then we have the sun. So there's something about you giving off this very sunny nature and vibe, like this warmth, good vibes. You know, you seem like a really happy person. You seem like somebody that can make jokes and make people laugh. And something about that takes people's breath away. You know, like when you laugh so much, you can't breathe. And then something about that makes you glow even more. Something about that makes you even more beautiful. Because you're very physically attractive, very conventionally attractive with the Queen of Wands. But then something about your personality makes you even more of a 10 out of 10. Like, I'm getting not even 10 out of 10. You break the scale. You're a million out of 10 <laughs> is what I'm hearing. And there's also something about you that smells really good. When people come up to you and hug you or they're near you, you smell really good. Whether it's your natural scent or whether it's just like perfumes you wear or colognes you wear, take it as it resonates. Two of Wands is at the back of the deck and we see this vibe of experimentation. So you could experiment and be very bold and courageous with whatever like looks you create for yourself in the way that you dress. I'm seeing the scene of Clueless when she is picking out an outfit. And as you know, Clueless was very iconic for their outfits. So it's like people see your outfits and your fashion styles as very trendy and iconic in some way where you set the trends like I think you can relate to pile number one in a way if you were drawn, but I feel like this pile has that trendsetter vibe, but it's because you're bold, it's because you're allowed to, or you allow yourself to express yourself and kind of mix and match kind of things and not take it too seriously, but see it as your own expression, see it as something artistic in some way with the sun. You could be very creative with the sun, in the way that you dress, in the way that you do your makeup, your hair, and people find that breathtaking. It's like, oh my gosh, I love their fashion style. It's iconic. I want to take inspiration from it. That's what I see with the Queen of Wands. So this card is popping out first, the Six of Swords. Yeah, you definitely may relate to pile number one in some way because the Six of Swords is about a change, right? 
Um, I mentioned to them a glow up, so I'm not going to mention them again, but yeah, if you were drawn, you can go watch that. In the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel, so if you enjoy my videos so far and would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to all my subscribers that have been supporting me since the beginning. Your support means the world to me. My goal is to reach 100k subscribers by the end of the year, and I can't do it without you. I will also be picking one random subscriber a week to give a free 30-minute reading to so leave any comments on any of the videos of the week to enter. So spirit guides of pile number two, what makes them breathtakingly beautiful to others? I feel like you're able to easily switch up your look, to easily switch things up. Oh my gosh, you have a lot of cards. So there's a lot of things that make this pile breathtakingly beautiful. We have the eight of wands at the back of the deck. So I'm getting with this pile... Um, you're very fun to be around too. Like I said earlier, you have this very beautiful smile. You're very charming in some way. And something about you being so fun to be around adds to this kind of like breathtakingly beautiful energy you have. Because not only are you very physically and conventionally attractive, you also have this beautiful vibe and personality that is almost like sunshine. Do you see the sun here in the middle of her chest? So it's like you bring this sunny nature to everyone you encounter we have strength we have the three of swords we do have the six of pentacles which confirms what i said earlier that you have this breathtakingly beautiful um physical appearance but also vibe to you that just makes people want to give to you that just makes people want to be generous to you like give you compliments uh do little things for you I'm even picking up for those that are women watching, you know, like you could be that type of woman where let's say you go out in public and then um, you have a lot of bags to carry. Then a man wants to help you carry those bags. Or if you're in a romantic connection, um, then it's like a man can, you know, want to do little things for you to please you. I I'm kind of seeing that or when you're dating, uh, but even vice versa, if you're a man, you know, it can be the same energy, but in a different way. And even if you're from the LGBTQ plus community, it can be the same energy in a different way. So we have the King of Swords. There could be some men watching the Ace of Wands. Then we have the Two of Wands. The High Priestess the hermit we're going to take a look at the rest of your cards in a second let's just first analyze these ones so it's funny that opposite the six of pentacles where i spoke about generosity we have the high priestess where she's holding a bunch of flowers so it's like you make people want to do romantic things for you buy your flowers do little things for you buy you gifts because you're so breathtakingly beautiful and with the high priestess this confirms what i said earlier it's not just your physical appearance that people find breathtakingly beautiful in some way it's also your vibe and it's breathtaking because it's like Whoa, I've never seen many people with such a beautiful heart and nature to them and vibe to them. And I feel like there's something about this pile where you've really worked on your self-worth is what I'm hearing, right? You've worked on your self-worth. You've become a lot more confident in yourself and that confidence is sexy. This pile is very sexy with the Ace of Wands very 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 sexy and something about your sexiness takes people's breath away right there's also something about your facial features that are very breathtakingly beautiful in some way whether you are a man or a woman watching or non-binary there's just something about your facial features your hair your eyes and you may also have this like really dreamy yet seductive nature to you because this card is giving me like a dreamy vibe something about your hair just falls perfectly and frames your face in a beautiful way and it doesn't matter what type of hair 
you have. There's just something about your hair. Because some of you have straight hair, some of you curl your hair or have curly hair or wavy hair. Some of you have like a blonde ish texture to your not texture color to your hair some of you have like a moussey brown or dark brown I guess just take it as it resonates but yeah I'm seeing that maybe even the hairstyles you do for the men here some of you could have longer hair or something about your shorter hair looks good where it makes people want to touch your hair or like play with your hair like your hair is very cute and for the woman here it's kind of like people think your hair kind of frames your face beautifully in a way where it accentuates your facial features in ways and it matches your outfits perfectly and I'm getting with this pile your body is also super sexy you could look very fit or you could just look like you take good care of your body even if you don't work out or do anything. You could just have a very good looking uh, body that makes people think you're very sexy in ways. This pile gives me like queen bee vibes. Um, but a kind queen bee. You know, a queen bee that makes everybody else around her happy. <laughs> or a king bee. Like, I'm seeing that energy of you just standing out in ways with the way that you look. Something so tempting. I'm hearing, like, enchanting about you. Yeah. For the woman here, there's something about the way you do your eye makeup that is breathtakingly beautiful, but you also have a very natural beauty, and you're also very, very photogenic, where when people are scrolling on social media, I just saw two, 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 they're kind of like, wow, and they're staring for a long time at your photos, and they're like, wow, do you see all the eyes here? So all eyes are on you. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just show you all the eyes so all eyes are on you my pile number twos something about you is just breathtakingly beautiful it's your vibe it's your aura it's your magnetism it's your personality your face your body like everything i'm hearing you beat the record <laughs> okay this pile could also be Somebody like very self-aware with the hermit, you know yourself, you know what you like, you know what you don't like and because you know yourself so well, it adds to that kind of confidence you carry yourself with. There's also something about you being quite intelligent in ways. So it's like you have it all. That's how people are looking at you. Like you have a beautiful personality. You have intelligence. You know yourself. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. And because of that, you're very authentic in the way that you express yourself. You show up with the authenticity in your everyday life. And that is breathtakingly beautiful. You're able to switch it up, change it up. You're able to be confident in yourself. You're able to make jokes, make people laugh. You're sexy. You have a sexy body. You have a pretty face or a handsome face. It's like you have it all. And something about that is breathtaking. And it can make some people very insecure because it's like, oh my gosh, like she or he or they, like they have all these things. And now I'm insecure and I feel like what if people like them more than me, things like that. And something about that takes their breath away as well, but in a more negative way. Because it's kind of like, they feel like you have all these strengths and all these things about you that it's just like, some people may even view you as perfect in ways. Yeah, I'm getting that. So the next cards we have a judgment. You're very powerful, my pile number twos. And all of a sudden, I feel like a hunger. And I'm not hungry right now, actually, because it's like 9 a.m. in the morning. And I don't usually get hungry at this time. But it's like, as I'm in your pile, I'm feeling this intense hunger and desire. Like, people feel a hunger and a desire and attraction towards you. Where they definitely desire you in that way, but not many can get you. Because I'm getting with this pile, you may reject people a lot, or you may just have very high standards, because you know what you deserve and you know what you want. 
we have the Page of Cups. Something about you knowing what you deserve, you knowing what you want is quite sexy because it shows you respect yourself. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So with Chiron, you could have healed from something big, maybe healed your inner child with the butterflies transformed in some way. Um, and something about that, the way you've changed, the way you've transformed is very breathtakingly beautiful because it's like, wow, did you see the person they were a few years ago to how they are now? They've completely transformed in ways and something about that is beautiful. The Magician. The Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, Death, the World, the Six of Wands, the Moon, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So I want to mention some signs I see here. So I do see Leo prominently and fire sign energy prominently, Aries and Sagittarius. Definitely Sagittarius is coming up strongly. I do see Cancer energy and Pisces energy, Virgo and Gemini. I see Earth sign energy as well. So Capricorn, Taurus. Aquarius and Libra. Those are the signs I see here. Maybe even Scorpio. Okay, what else am I getting here? You could have very gorgeous lips. Something about your facial structure or shape. Some of you have more of a heart-shaped face or something about the way your chin goes out. Um, and it makes your lips look good. It makes your cheeks look good. Right. Some of you could have really, really dark hair that makes you very attractive to others. Whereas some of you could have very, very light hair or the in-between, like brown. I keep getting photogenic. This pile's very photogenic. Again, something about the way you do your makeup. Some of you have freckles or cute faces. Some of you could have more of like an oval-shaped face or... A square shaped face that is beautiful. Something about the shape of your face and your facial features like match perfectly. I don't know how to explain it but it's like every feature you have matches perfectly with your hair, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your facial shape like it matches perfectly. It looks good on you. You have a, un a unique beauty where not many people look like you. Um, I'm hearing classy very elegant, very luscious. There's also this intensity to your eyes, like where people just kind of feel like your eyes are breathtakingly beautiful. No matter what eye shape or color you have, there's just something about your eyes. And I keep getting that seductive energy, especially like when people look at your lips when they're talking to you. Sometimes they can think you're flirting with them, but you're not flirting with them. You're just being kind. And then it kind of takes their breath away and makes them attracted to you. But then they go home thinking like, were they flirting with me or am I just thinking they're flirting? <laughs> also, the way you've been able to create success or certain achievements within your life how you've been able to let go of what doesn't serve you. That just shows that you love yourself. So now let's get your last cards. So what is breathtakingly beautiful about my pile number twos to others? We have the strong woman. We have the little star. We have the bubblegum Brit. You're very yummy, very delicious, very like, mm, I like a piece of that. <laughs> I hear that in my mind. Um, like other people thinking that, the rebel. So there could definitely be Aquarius energy with the rebel. Ooh, the starlet. I've never seen this card before because this is kind of like a new deck. And then last but not least, we have the yogi. I feel like getting one more card. Okay, the visionary. 
and at the back of the deck we have the spotlight. So it's like you have the star-like quality to you. Again, something about your fashion style and the way that you dress looks very you. It's like you're kind of rebelling against society's norms. You rebel against things you don't want to do. Like you kind of give me this energy where it's like, I'm going to do me. I'm going to go and do things to the beat of my own drum. I'm going to like express my vision to the world. So there is that unique nature you have that is very breathtakingly beautiful, very glamorous in the way that you look. Clothes just look good on you and they look sexy on your body. You look yummy and delicious. Very, very sexy. Again, with the yogi, it's like people think you take good care of your body. Your visions for your artistic expression or the way you express yourself through fashion, hair, makeup is always like this visionary quality where it's innovative. Nobody's ever thought of that before. It's like people see you as somebody that can have a star quality to you, somebody that can be seen for your talents and the things you do with the starlet here. Again, beautiful smile, as I said before. Something about the jewelry you wear as well, or the accessories you wear are very breathtakingly beautiful. And no matter the way you dress, like, everybody here could have different styles and aesthetics. It's just so you and it looks good on you. And you could have been beautiful from a young age with the little star. You could have had these qualities within you from a young age, whether you see that or not. And that's what people see in you. And people definitely admire your strength. Where it's like nothing has... Nothing has taken away your will to live and to express yourself and to have happiness and joy. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but I'm hearing that. Um, some of you could have belly rings or piercings that are quite breathtakingly beautiful. Um, it's just like clothes look very good on your body. That's what I keep seeing. So this is what I have for you, pile number two. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there, my pile number threes. If you chose this Laramar crystal and the messenger of water, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at what makes you breathtakingly beautiful to others? So please be aware that this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started, I'd just like to announce that I am going to be available for personal readings in April. So if you'd like to book with me, you can send me an email that you can find in the description box below. So with this car that you chose, the messenger of water, I'm kind of getting that this this pile has this very alluring type of vibe to you. You're very seductive in ways, but then also you give off this very soft and gentle look to the way that you look. It's kind of giving me like mermaid or siren vibes. Like you have this ability to lure people in. There's also something about you that is quite mysterious where people are like, who is that person over there? When I came to your pile, I heard that song, Who Is She? Um, by I Monster, that song that was like on TikTok. So it's like, it goes like, oh, who is she? A Mr. Memory, a haunting face. So it's like, you kind of burn yourself in people's memories forever, where they connect where they cannot get you off their mind ever. Some of you like to wear pearls or the jewelry you wear could be seen as quite breathtakingly beautiful in some way. And when you wear clothes, it's like flows on your body. Um, some of you have very voluptuous bodies or some of you just have that kind of hourglass figure or pear-shaped body or something about the shape of your body. Um, or like even if you don't have, even if you're like more slim, and you don't have many curves to your body. There's just something about the way clothes fall on your body that gives off that shape or that kind of soft, um, luxurious kind of essence to it. I hope that makes sense. Like a soft kind of flowy vibe. <laughs> okay, spirit guys of pile number twos. 
Spirit Guides of Pile 2s. What makes them breathtakingly beautiful to others? So we do have the Knight of Cups at the back of the deck, which is about you having a lot of secret admirers, which is kind of funny because I wrote in my notes that I saw the Knight of Cups clairvoyantly for this pile, but I forgot to tell you guys. So there's something about people wearing their heart on their sleeve for you. People admiring you a lot secretly, crushing on you secretly. And sometimes they want to tell you, but sometimes they're too shy to, okay? People wear their heart on their sleeve for you, not just in romantic settings, but in all types of settings. And you have that ability to stay on people's minds for a very long time. So we do have the King of Cups. We have three cards, the Queen of Swords and the Page of Wands. So I'm getting with the Queen of Swords, there is something about your voice that is quite alluring. Like the siren, you know, the siren has a beautiful voice. So there's something about your voice that is alluring to others. With a page of wands, you could have a very youthful, cute looking face as well. And I'm getting something about your style as well is breathtakingly beautiful to others. It comes across as cute but sexy, but then soft at the same time and like luxurious in some way, like the way clothes fall on your body. And there's also something about your emotional nature that is also breathtakingly beautiful to others because people see you as somebody with a lot of kindness. People see you as somebody that is kind to human beings, but you may also love animals in some way. You may have pets of your own, or you may just love animals and care for animals in some way. And something about that is breathtakingly beautiful. Something about your personality traits and the way you speak to others from this place of love and depth. And maybe you speak in like a very poetic way or you use very beautiful words. Something about that takes people's breath away and stays on their mind for a really long time. But there's also something about you that is very exciting to be around. Since this King of Cups is holding this glass of wine and this Page of Wands is playing around, you know, you have this very playful vibe that people find attractive and alluring in some way where I feel like you can make lots of jokes, you are seen as like very fun to be around and something about that is breathtakingly beautiful as well. So I'm also seeing you have exes from the past or people you've been in situationships with in the past that see you as the one that got away where they still can't get you out of their mind. So in the last month, only 41% of people who watch my channel have subscribed. So if you enjoy this video so far and would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to all my subscribers that have been supporting me since the beginning. Your support means the world to me. My goal is to reach 100k subscribers by the end of the year and I can't do it without you. I will also be picking one random subscriber a week to give a free 30 minute reading to so leave any comments on any of the videos of the week to enter spirit guides of pile number threes people see you as like very gentle and soft and soothing your energy comes across as very peaceful something about your energy is also beautiful your heart your emotional nature you're very empathic people feel like they can trust you people feel like of course, you have that siren alluring energy, but you also have this very trustworthy energy where people can trust you with their secrets, with the things that are on their mind. You know, this may be my pile of people that give really great advice, that are very wise in some way for your age, I'm hearing. Um, and it's like you have this very youthful face, but then you're wise at the same time. So you have that kind of polarity to you that is breathtakingly beautiful. It's like, wow. So we have the Wheel of Fortune showing up first. If you have very, very curly hair, there's something about that for some of you, not all, but there's something about that that is seen as breathtakingly beautiful. 
where people want you to wear your natural curly hair more often um, if you don't because it just looks so beautiful and it just frames your face perfectly. It looks perfect on you. I'm hearing there's something about this pile that looks so perfect in your own way. We have the Hermit. You have this very soft, gentle nature to you. You may be a little bit introverted. We have the Tower. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Emperor. There may be some men watching this pile. We have the Queen of Pentacles. I said that you have this like luxurious vibe with the way that you dress and that is confirmed here with the Queen of Pentacles. It's like whatever you wear, it looks like gold is dripping on you. It looks luxurious. It looks like you're dripping in gold. We have Temperance. We have the Three of Wands. And even if you don't wear expensive clothes, it's like it looks expensive on you. Okay, then we have the Seven of Wands with Soft Area. I said you have this very soft vibe. You could have very soft features, soft and gentle and cute features to your face that is breathtaking in some way. Almost like this bunny or like, you know, when you see a cute bunny and you're like, oh, that's how people are looking at you. Then I feel some extra cards. I'm just going to put them here. There's a lot of men cards coming out. I'm also feeling with this pile, you have a lot of people that are jealous of you, jealous of your beauty, jealous of the way other people like you. And then I'm seeing like the Six of Cups card pop out with the extra cards. So that confirms what I said earlier about you being the one that got away. I feel like a lot of people from your past are kind of worried that they never get to have any kind of connection to you ever again because they realize that they lost what they had because you have the soft and gentle personality and this beautiful heart and nature to you. And you're so giving and devoted within your connections. You're so nurturing and patient and kind. And it's like they're they're realizing what they lost out on. We have the sun at the back. of the So people find you to be that type of person they love to be around. You vibrate at this place where you bring happiness and joy to everybody. And you could also be seen as a very happy-go-lucky, positive person that makes people find you very breathtakingly beautiful. So this pile definitely has a natural beauty. There's definitely something about your hair that's so gorgeous. And I guess I will depend, you know, for the men here, there's something about your hair that is very handsome. Um, you know, some of you could have longer hair, some of you could have shorter hair, but there's something about your hair that is handsome in some way. And really matches your face, really makes your face stand out more. And then for the women, you know, some of you could have shorter hair like a bob. Some of you could have very curly hair, straight hair. Um, or you could do like looks where you tie up your hair. But something about your hair looks gorgeous. Some of you could have blonde hair. Some of you could have brown hair. And I'm getting with you, like, you could travel the world and look beautiful in every country. It's like you have that type of beauty that is a little bit, like, timeless, um, classic type of beauty that is timeless. You have that natural beauty to your face where you're always going to be beautiful. And you have that type of beauty where whatever country or city you go to, people will find you beautiful with a chariot. There's something with you about things you do, like little things you do, like the way you stare at people, the way you move, the way you like touch your hair or yeah, just like little things you do that are seen as so alluring, like little facial expressions you make, your smile, your laughter. Yes, there's something about your laughter that's so breathtakingly beautiful. It makes people crush on you. Even in a platonic way, it's just like, wow, 
you know when you see a person laugh and they're just so beautiful that you're just like wow I see people doing that to you like when you talk and you're excited about something like when you are laughing when you're telling jokes when you're talking about something you're passionate about there's like a sparkle in your eye when you're smiling, when you're talking, some of you use your hands when you talk and it's just seen as so breathtakingly beautiful. It's like the little things you do are seen as breathtakingly beautiful. And sometimes we may not know what that is because we're not looking at ourselves the same way others are looking at us. But something about that is coming through and like you just give off this very cute and wholesome energy, like sweet and cute. Yes, but also very alluring and sexy some of you have tattoos um, and you have like a baby face or a very cute face. And even as you age, you're still going to look very beautiful. It's like you get more beautiful as the years go by. And it's not just the physical. It's like when you get older, you're learning more about yourself. You're learning what you like, what you don't like who you want to be in the world, you're gaining more inner confidence, like this quiet confidence, the more you age, you're gaining more wisdom, the more you age. And so that shows through the way you carry yourself through your demeanor. And it's seen as beautiful in some way, breathtakingly beautiful. Yeah, you again, like you have this ability to stay on people's minds for the longest time ever. And people fall hard and fast for you with the tower and they can't stop themselves from doing so. You have very balanced symmetrical features. With the Wheel of Fortune, I'm kind of hearing you were destined and fated to be breathtakingly beautiful in this lifetime. You know, like how we all receive certain gifts in each lifetime. You are receiving this gift of softness and cuteness where you have this ability to make anybody's heart flutter, even the person with the coldest nature to them you have this ability to make their heart flutter and beat like I'm seeing the Grinch when his heart is so small and then it goes bigger and he's like no I don't want it to go bigger like you have this ability to get into people's hearts and stay there for a long time you have that gift with your cuteness but also cute personality you have this like fated beauty of alluringness like a siren beauty and it's just like you have that gift of beauty and bringing beauty into the world, bringing beauty into whatever it is you do, whatever interaction you have, that inner beauty you have too. That's what I'm really seeing here. But you could also have other gifts. That's not the only gift I see here. Maybe you have a gift of wisdom. Maybe you have a gift of creativity. Maybe have a gift with your words, like you're very charming and charismatic. Or you have an ability to get people to open up to you through your words. So you could have many g different gifts, maybe even a gift of making money. Like, I I'm just mentioning the beauty aspects because this is what the reading's about. But with the Six of Cups and si uh, Seven of Wands, although you're soft, like I'm hearing bubbles where she's like, is it bubbles? I could be mistaken where she's like, everybody underestimates me. <laughs> and then bam. So it's like, you're so cute and soft, but then people from your past kind of like maybe betrayed you with the five of swords and maybe like really treated you badly. And now you're not letting them back into your life. It's like seven of wands. You know how to set those boundaries for yourself you're gorgeous and cute, but then you also know how to set boundaries for yourself. And something about that is breathtakingly beautiful because it's like, this person's so cute and sweet and soft, but then they can also stand up for themselves. And it's, and it's like, wow, like that's amazing. <laughs> and I'm seeing people clap for you. But there's also something about you being somebody with a lot of passion to achieve the things you want in life, to gain financial success in your lifetime with the Queen of Pentacles, or people could just see you having that ability to do that because you're also very intelligent and smart. 
And I, I feel like that's something people see in you where they see that potential of you creating financial abundance within this lifetime and something about that potential you have is breathtaking. They could also see you as somebody that is going to change the world in some way, somebody that has a big purpose, somebody that's going to level up in big miraculous ways and something about seeing the potential of that is breathtaking in ways. We have the chariot again, which is so interesting. So it's like you're meant to completely level up, completely change things for yourself. And I get with the chariot, you've liberated yourself from a lot as well. You're always going to be victorious in whatever you do. People see you leaving a legacy of some kind. Because of this passionate and ambitious nature you have, an ability to go after your dreams and desires, right? And you have a lot of willpower to succeed. So we do have the Eight of Swords with Medusa. And it's like with this Medusa energy, you're seen as soft and cute, but it's like if somebody wrongs you, you can turn them to stone with your look, with your look alone, with your eyes alone. When you look them in the eyes and you're like, I know what you did to me. You can't lie to me. You can't hide anything from me because I will always find out. I'm getting with this pile. I, I don't mean to sound mean or anything because I relate to this, but I'm getting like, you have an intensity to the way that you, that you love where there's like this detective vibe or I don't know if you're just intuitive in nature and wise in nature where you can see red flags in people or you can just tell when somebody's lying to you or you just find things out easily. Um, but it's kind of like the switch within you where some of you, I'm, I'm hearing Sweet But Psycho. Is that that song? Um, and it's not in a bad way. It's kind of like hot, <laughs> if that makes sense to others. It's like... The way you love so intensely is like when they wrong you or do something wrong to you, it's like you're going to cut them out. You're going to give them a look that turns them to stone, that makes them regret everything they've done. And then they're going to live with that guilt for the longest time. And they're going to realize that, oh my gosh, like I can never get over pile number three. I lost the best thing that ever happened to me. So I kind of get that vibe here. And then with, with Medusa, like the snakes, there's something very tempting and alluring about you, like I said before. Some of you could have that intense vibe to the way that you look, more edgy vibe to the way that you look. Um, I just saw 111. There's something about your lips that are breathtakingly beautiful, your eyelashes, the cuteness in your eyes like when you get excited about things. Some of you like to wear eyeliner and it looks really good on you. For the men here, there's something about your body, no matter what your body looks like. And for the women too, something about your body, non-binary too. And I'm getting with this pile, you may realize or not, like get people that are jealous of you because they feel very insecure around you and they're kind of like, looking at you in this way of like um, almost sending you an evil eye. So just be careful of that because something about your looks and your cuteness and your softness and the way people admire you and like you, people get very jealous of that. So I'd say protect your energy when you're going out in public. Imagine like an energetic bubble of white light around you or golden light. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. So I do see a lot of cancer energy within this pile, Pisces, um, I heard Aquarius, Scorpio. There is also some Aries energy, Sagittarius energy, Capricorn energy, Virgo energy, Taurus. I keep hearing Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. And then we have Aquarius again with the star. We have the Three of Cups. The world. I also heard Gemini, Libra, death. So yeah, it's like people you've let go of, <laughs> they're still coming up within this pile where they still think of you to this day. The fool. Seven of cups. Four of swords. The hierophant. And the queen of cups. 
If you ever wear dark lipsticks or something about lipsticks is coming through, like lipstick really looking good on you, um, even if you wear more of a nude tone or like maroon um, or pink or red, something about the lipstick you wear looks good on you or if you just like wear lip gloss and it really looks good on you, something about that. Um, I'm getting that you shine like a star. You really do. And it's not just it's not just your physical beauty that people find breathtakingly beautiful. It's also your heart and your beautiful emotional nature. You're also seen as somebody very free spirited and fun to be around with thy with this um god. He's like the god of wine. So I don't know how to pronounce his name, sorry, but it's like you're somebody really fun to be around. Maybe you're the life of the party, really pleasurable to look at and be around. Um, and with the Three of Cups, a lot of people also want to be friends with you. A lot of people want to form relationships to you with the Ten of Cups, whether that be romantic or platonic, because they see you to have like the star-like quality where people just look at you like, wow, oh my gosh, who is this person? That's what I'm seeing here. For the men here, I'm getting like messy hair that looks really good on you, that looks sexy. There could also be a lot of dark haired women here. Something about your hair is very thick and luscious and looks good. And you just have this glow to you in whatever you do. Something about your beauty is quite hypnotic in a way where it makes people just want to stare at you the whole time. And it's something about your vibe and aura that mixes into that that is quite hypnotic. Like, can you imagine, like, a sexy siren moving around and you're just so hypnotized by her that you just keep on a staring, staring at her and you don't even know why? Or some of you, like, I wouldn't describe it as a sexy siren, but, like, if you don't think of yourself as, like, sexy but more cute, because I feel like some here are seen as more sexy, some are seen as more cute, just depending on what you resonate with. Um, but it's, like, you know that person where you just want to keep staring at them and you don't know what it is, but just something about their energy, but also their physical beauty that just draws you in, that just makes you want to keep staring. There's something very dreamy about this pile and free spirited and bold and like you have a very unique look to you, unique personality that nobody has ever seen before. There's just something about you that people can't put their finger on. And I think it's everything about you. <laughs> um, Let's get some more cards. So what is seen as breathtakingly beautiful about my pile? Number threes, please. We have the professional. So this is what I was speaking about. People can see you achieving a lot within this lifetime. If you haven't already, they can see that potential. And with the green here to make lots of money. <laughs> okay, we have the mother. Some of you are mothers or fathers. And the way you treat your children is just so beautiful. It's so cute. Um, or your children are also very cute. Uh, no matter your child's age, if you have children, where people look at your children and they're like, mm, I can see that they have the good genes from their parents um, because their parents are also really good looking. <laughs> and um, I'm getting for you, like, when your children grow older, like, you're going to go to to their school and then all their friends are going to be like, oh, their mom looks so pretty or, oh, um their parents look so good, like, I can see where they got those good genes from, um, I'm really seeing that strongly, but even if you don't have children, you could just have the soft-hearted nature where people can see you being a good mother or father, or, you know, maybe you treat your pets like your babies for some of you, where you treat your pets like your pet babies, and people find that so, so, so cute about you that it's breathtaking. We have the artist, so you could be very creative in ways. I'm hearing you're amused to others. People find you to be amused. We have the masterpiece. So whatever you create artistically is seen as a masterpiece and it's breathtaking when people look at it. I'm seeing some of you are content creators, photographers, um, video like maybe you make videos in some way, content in some way. People see a star-like quality in you to be able to 
be in the public eye in some way. Some of you are models or people see you to have like a model like beauty where they could imagine you in certain photos. Then they'd just be like, oh my gosh, I can imagine them in a photo that would be like a masterpiece. Or, you know, clothes just look really good on you where they can imagine you to model fashion and clothes. Something about that is coming through. Um, maybe even the way you dress is quite artistic in nature where it's like, oh my gosh, I love the way they're dressing. We have the boho babe. So this pile is more spiritual, more free-spirited, maybe in the way that you dress for some of you, whereas some of you dress in a more glamorous way, or some of you just look very cute and girly. For the men here, I get this vibe of like you wearing something and it looks effortless. You don't have to try too hard. Whatever you wear looks good on your body is what I'm getting. The cusp, the blue jean queen. So definitely something about fashions coming up um, and the femme fatale. So that's like that siren energy I was speaking about. Some of you have that femme fatale energy, um, more like intense, edgy look to you. Now at the back of the deck, we have the ringleader. With the cusp, I'm getting here like that mix of cuteness and sexiness I said before where you're both for some of you. If you resonate with that, where some of you will be like, oh, I'm more cute or oh, I'm more sexy. And if you do dress like in a spiritual way and wear like crystal necklaces and things like that, people could see that and really like that, admire your style. If you wear more like leather jackets or if you wear more clothes that are like show-stopping type of energy people could see that but even when you wear casual clothes it looks very good on you i keep getting your smile as well so this is what i have for you pile number three i really hope this reading resonated with you please don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you next time